the our application what we did and what we started this is the all the the monitoring dashboard is if you look the monitoring shows here is that the uh, uh, jpm uh, virtual machine micrometer monitoring possibility and it has the all the all the matrix information all the the JP, jbm informations you can see the all the jbm informations and also it has the ei overview and memory memory informations so all the information jbm hip space cpu use cases and then and so on so forth there is all the informations uh, and monitor with uh, with the with the gafana and and then gafana tools so really good tools for visualize uh, your, your microservice based applications and so on so forth it's like it's like really really professional examples professional way when you monitor your microservices applications and that's the, that's the thing we will to, we'll do together to how can you configure these things how can you run the the, the gafana tools uh, how can you run the uh, the prometheus and also how can you uh, uh, configure the spring boot application to visualize the uh, such a such a such a such a uh, spring boot application matrix informations and like info and the matrix is like and jpm matrixes and if you saw uh, there's a there is a there is a the like prometheus the bit tools uh, the ui you can just simply the it will all the all the possibility uh, for 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 the graphically and tabular form you can visualize things together into the into the your your prometheus uh, uh, visualization tools so that means if you have actuator into the configuration into the into the your, your spring boot applications then you just run the spring boot applications and after the running the spring boot application you can you can visualize the all the matrix informations uh, and then uh, all Visualize the metric information into the Prometheus to uh, Prometheus UI, and also you can also visualize the uh, information into the into the Gafana uh, Gafana uh, good to Gafana tools to link to the Prometheus application Prometheus log information. So you have it's all the possibility. You see the all the matrix information matrix is exposed. You can expose all the connectivity. Uh, uh, high uh, connectivity database connectivity has JBM and has JDBC JDBC connection active max mean buffering and then all the JBM informations and then this has a process CPU processing information it has a Tomcat information and so on so forth it's a lot of information is there so you can you can do what you like to do the information that you need to to, to visualize or to process your depending how it is be done how it is be handled for the for the informations you can go also that's i say there's all the possibility uh, you can go also the the all the stm the http request response scope i can go the http request response scopes uh, maybe http it is a counter so we can export the the matrix information that you need and then you have the possibility to different graphs options and all the request and response how many requests and response is coming for each of the http requests you can do also the different possibility and also you can have a zoom in zoom out functionalities that's let's say we do together when i uh, configure and i run the spring boot applications microservice application and then see the monitoring uh, dashboard with the uh, with with prometheus and the Gafana. so that that means we have a prometheus as you can also visualize possibility with a lot of my with the lot, lot of default matrices the open matrices you can also visualize the, all the matrix information and from the gafana uh, we have also the possibility to, to visualize the complete uh, uh, complete uh, complete jvm matrices and when the application started the duration and and, and then all the information what happening the application you can do such a way uh, to visualize that you your application informations that's i that's i mean that how can you do it i will do i will show you later how can the configuration need to be done and how it has to be handled so you see the the application that's we are looking for uh, we are looking for application to the 
this is the information that we already configure uh, the the actuator and Prometheus in the into the our Spring Boot application. You see the all the information is there for the for the all of the actuator information and you see the local host application is running 3030 actuator Prometheus information and what we are expecting exactly uh, the the our Prometheus installation our uh, configuration is works what we are expecting. And also that's I will show you later. And then this is also what we already discussed about the, the how can you also do the, the use service uh, uh, documentation or generation, the service documentation, the documentation, and uh, is a professional way how can you use the uh, Swagger UI2 and then open open API 3 or specification or Swagger 3 specification. That's I already discussed in my previous screencast. How can uh, how can do you really this professional uh, uh, documentation of your REST APIs? That's the important part. You need to be uh, really uh, follow it because it is helped by your your test testing team or your uh, web development team. Just they, they can see what's happening your your microservices application and how the input output parameters, how the model look like. As you see the, all the informations. Thus, those are new into the Swagger UI documentation or Open API documentation. Just follow that my previous screencast. I discussed really more detailed information about the Swagger UI implementation or configurations and do some test with the Swagger UI and 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 then uh, Swagger UI and then the the uh, Swagger uh, Swagger UI and then the Swagger uh, Swag Open API specifications. So you see, and also I had this with the, the some examples. We already have the same. We already talk talk about this one. How can you configure the you, you how can you run the you test cases the Spring Boot uh, uh, REST API testing with the Postman's and then you have all the possibility you already set the global parameter how can we discuss the, how can you set the global parameters and then after the global setting the parameter and then you can simply test all the your functionalities and then after that if you are satisfied your test cases your development test cases then you can also uh, put the you test exam test cases into the uh, export the test case into into the testing team and then they simply change the you the IP address and port numbers what were what we already discussed here the IP and port numbers and they can run simply import the test cases and simply run the uh, the postman test with the, their their environments that's the I already discussed about so we can also the postman check we can check the health conditions because our application is running you can see the, the, the all the applica application, the, the actuated information, health information. We can go to the, all the health information, is it application is running? And then, <clears throat> so you see the application is up and then all the total information is a DV information. You see the, the matrix information that exactly the health condition, the application itself is up and it has a take total times, it has a DV. Uh, connectivity database connectivity database is also up so I suppose this SQL database and then so on so forth is everything there so it has all the record information that I already tested it I will show you a little bit later how can do the test with the postman and this is the same test uh, we will do the Swagger UI so let's let's because that's I the introductions how the how what part we need to be cover or the possibility that means we will implement the one one of one of or two or three microservice application with the Swagger uh, with um, uh, Spring Boot application with the IntelliJ IDE or you can open you can also use the uh, also the Eclipse ID but IntelliJ ID is really good to create the Spring Boot applications and we, we will develop the application that's we already I already discussed in the previous screencast but we will recap again and the most important how can you configure the Swagger UI and how can you configure the the the, the big different database migration tools like Flyway and Liquivase because I had all the both possibility uh, to take the same database migration script to to deploy and uh, with the with the Liquivase also. So if this is the migration script only uh, migration script for Flyway and also I have a different application to de uh, deploy the application into the in the Liquivase uh, the deployment process database migration 
uh, tools like that. It's the configuration is still the same, only that need to change it here. The uh, the the liquid based configuration of your your database migration process. So just just follow the my channels, Fivia channel. I discussed really detail about how can you migration tools. But let's go back to the our this testing tool, testing application, testing boot application. How can you configure? How can you monitor uh, the matrices and health condition of the of your Spring Boot application? That's the main idea.